All right, I want to say Kal Halalium La Abanawa Yahawa Bashem Yahushai Bashem Haraka Kodash. Double honors be to, to the apostles, was the quantum of great millstone rule well. And shalom to the sincere brethren, Akim out there across the four winds, the four corners of the globe, pushing this truth. This gospel is good news of Yahweh Shai, proclaiming salvation to the elect of Israel, so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and proclaiming the downfall of Esau, Edom, the so called white man, and his wicked and evil as empire. Hey man, so this is going to be a video basically going in, uh, exhorting brothers to go more into the Hebrew, man, the Hebrew language, man, which is our language, you understand? And I mean the Lashua and Kodash. Which is the holy tongue, man. You often hear brothers like I did open open uh, their lesson with what? Kala Lalium Yahabashim Yahushai, which is the ancient Hebrew, meaning what? All praises, man. Be to what? Yahweh, the most high, Bashim in the name Yahweh Shai. Bashim Harakakodash in the name of the Holy Spirit, man. You know what I mean? Because that's the, that's 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 the, that that's the that's who we coming in, man. That's that's who uh, name we coming in. That's, that's the power that we coming in, the, the power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. You know what I mean? And he and and he and his son, man, Bashim Harakakodash to the spirit, deserve what? Our praises, man. You know what I mean? Because what? They are, he is what? Omnipotent, omnipotent, omnipresent, man. You understand? So basically, um, I'll open up with uh, the book of Sirach. I have it here in my Apocrypha. You know what I mean? I have my Apocrypha here. So I'll read it from the Apocrypha, man. Going into the strength, the, the potency of the Hebrew tongue, man, of the Lashua and Kodash, which, is, which in Hebrew is holy language, holy tongue. This is the prologue to the book of Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus. <clears throat> Wherefore, let me entreat you to read it with favor and attention, and to pardon us, wherein we may seem to come short of some words which we have labored to interpret. For the same things uttered in Hebrew and translated in another tongue have not the same force in them. Can't so there it is right there, man. That's why what? When you want to get the full knowledge, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, man, the fullness thereof, you have to go back to what? The Hebrew. The Hebrew tongue, man, to understand what is being said. Understand the context. You know what I mean? Of what is being said, man. You know what I mean? Also understand the full force, man. Of, of what is what is being said, man. And anybody who speaks a different language, man, whether it be Spanish, French, you know what I mean? Patois, whatever, man. Hey, they could tell you a joke in that, that native tongue, but if they translate it to the English, it is not the same, man. It don't have the same effect. It don't have the same force, man. It's the same thing with the Hebrew, man. Cer that's why it says what? Certain things translated, man, don't have the same force. It don't have the same effect. It don't necessarily have the same meaning, man. It just have a close meaning man you know what i mean and not only these things but the law itself comes to the torah itself man and the prophets the tanakh man the old testament so-called man and the rest of the books have no small difference when they are spoken in their own language Can so hey what, what, what is sirach telling you here man what is ecclesiasticus telling you here man what he's telling you what True, uh, the true understanding of the scriptures, man, the fullness thereof, man. Hey, you must needs going to the 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 ancient Hebrew, man, the Paleo Hebrew, man. You must try your best to understand it, read it, utter it. You know what I mean? Enunciate it, so on and so forth, man. You know what I mean? You have a lot of these so-called Hebrew Israelites comes out there saying what? Oh, you could call the Messiah Jesus, and <laughs> and the Father God. That don't even make sense, man, because all of those are what? Those are really Greek-English terms, man. You know what I mean? They're really bastardized terms, man. In order to what? Give the most of all its praises. Do praises, all praises, man. You have to what? Call upon, utter his holy name, man. Yahweh and his son's name. Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. The most high and his son, man. Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, man. You understand? Okay, so now going into the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 22. This is our Paul speaking. You know what I mean? Benjamin, brother. <laughs> Benjamin, apostle. Are the Hebrews? So am I. Can't, because Paul was what? Like I said, a Hebrew Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin. You know what I mean? 
so am I. Are they Israelites? So am I. Are they the seed of Abraham? So am I. And so we are Hebrew Israelites, man. Hebrew being our language, our tongue, you know what I mean? Our native tongue. And we are Israelites being what? Our nationality, man. You know what I mean? Our, our, our lineage, our father's line, man. So Hebrews, man, if we call ourselves Hebrews, what? We have to know how to speak some sort of Hebrew, man. You can't just be calling yourself a Hebrew and don't know a lick of Hebrew, man. And don't know nothing in Hebrew, man. You have to be what? Practicing, man. Practicing prayers. Practicing words. You know what I mean? Generally just reading the language. Understanding the different enunciations of the language. You know what I mean? The different prefixes, suffixes. You know what I mean? Stuff like that, man. You know what I mean? Because why? Verse 23. Are they ministers of Hamashiach? Which is how you say Christ in the Hebrew. Hamashiach. You know what I mean? The anointed one. I speak as a fool. I am more in labors, more abundant, in more sh in stripes, above measure, in prisons, more frequent, in deaths oft. And so basically, Paul going into his what? His, his, suffer his suffering for what? The word of Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, man. You know what I mean? For being a Hebrew Israelite, man. For professing Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, man. You know what I mean? But the point I wanted to get to is what? They are Hebrews, man. You know what I mean? Hey, there's a whole book. There's a whole book in the scriptures saying what? There's a whole book called what? Hebrews, man. Hebrews, man. There it is right there. Hebrews, the book of Hebrews, man. And where you, where you how about Shemiah Shai said? He come in what? The volume of the book, right? This is the book of Hebrews chapter 10 verse 7. Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O power. Hans, hey. The Yahweh Shemiah Shai come in, comes in the volume of the book, man. And that book is what? About the Hebrews, man. The Hebrew Israelites, man. That's the main character. The Hebrew Israelites, man. The pure tongue, man. Let's see if I can find that preset real quick, man. <clears throat> this is the book of Zephaniah, chapter 3, verse 9. For then will I turn to the people a pure tongue, a pure language, man. And what's that pure language, man? The Ibariah, man. Which is how you say Hebrew in the ancient Hebrew. <laughs> Ibariah, man. The Lashuan Kodash, the holy tongue, the pure tongue, man. Lashuan Kodash, man. That they may all call upon the name of Yahweh to serve him with one consent. And so, hey, we, we were rehearsing the righteous acts, man. You know what I mean? And we understand that, man. We rehearsing the righteous acts, man. And part of that rehearsal is what? Learning the Hebrew, man. Because during the Passover, what? We have to know what? Speak the Hebrew, man. To the best of our ability. This is the book of Judges chapter 5, verse 11. Kind of is embarrassing, man. If you're not even, even able to say the, the littlest of things in the Hebrew, man. Your tribe. Um, the nation of Israel in Hebrew. You are uh, now to uh, write out your name in the Hebrew. Write out different stuff. The characters, the enunciation of the characters. Those are basic stuff, man, that you belongs at least able to do to some sort of extent, man. We're not gonna get it perfect. We're gonna make mistakes. Cause we what we grew up under that we grew up under what the heathen rule. Edomite rule, man, in captivity. You know what I mean? So it's not gonna come as natural to us as we would like. But still, what the scriptures say, they that are delivered from the noise of the archers in the places of drawing water, can so those that are delivered from what? Captivity. Babylon the Great, this last captivity. Then shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. Can we also the righteous acts of, the, acts of the Lord? What is that? The last touches and commandments, man. You know what I mean? The, the righteous tongue, man. The holy tongue. The Lashu and Kodash, man. We rehearse in that, man. Even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of the village in, villages in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. Can't. So, hey, basically the point was what? We have to rehearse these righteous acts, man. And part of these righteous acts is what? Getting in. To what? The Hebrew tongue, man. The, the, the Hebrew language, man. The Ibariah, the holy tongue, man. 
You know what I mean? Learning the alphabet, so on and so forth, man. Learning your name, so on and so forth, man. Prayers, so on and so forth, man. And right here, I have a tool, man. When well, a site, man. Uh, HebrewOldTestament.com, uh, man. And when you go into this, <clears throat> it has what? So, let me see. Go to the first one. Can it has what? The uh, it has the the Assyrian Hebrew, which is up here. Modern Hebrew, they have it. Assyrian Hebrew. You have the Paleo Hebrew, man, which is the the original the original characters. You know what I mean? Of the Hebrew, and then you have the different transliterations, man. You know what I mean? You have the King James, the Latin Vulgate. You know what I mean? So on and so forth, man. And what you have the whole, you have the whole entire. The whole entire uh, Torah right here, man, and Tanakh. The Old Testament so-called, man. So, hey, you could practice right here, man. And you could see what you're saying. You could mi mix and match, man, to see what you're saying. Because what? It has what? The, what you're saying, it has what you're saying in English right here. And then you have the Paleo and Assyrian, man. You know what I mean? So this is a beautiful tool that I use all the time, man. And I encourage brothers to use this, man. You know what I mean? Learn the characters and then start learning the rules of the language, man. And then, hey, you, you'll get better, man. Better with practice, man. You'll get better with practice, you understand? You will get better with practice. <coughs> <coughs> uh, let me see if I can find this other precept. Real swift. Cancel. Let me read this precept again, man. They that are delivered from the noise of, of the archers... In the places of drawing water, there shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. Can't say, hey, we're rehearsing the righteous acts, man. We practice, we practicing, man. You know what I mean? We, we're not ignorant. You understand? Let's see if I can find this preset. Okay, come. So this is from the Apocrypha. So I'll read it from the Apocrypha. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 5, verse 15. Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small. Can. So it's not a light thing to just be ignorant of the Hebrew, man. You know what I mean? To be ignorant of the Hebrew, man. You know what I mean? Because a lot of brothers might take it to be a light thing. You know what I mean? We're not speaking Hebrew on a day to day basis, so I don't need to practice. I don't need to learn it, really. You know what I mean? That's not the mindset you should have, man. You know what I mean? That's why the scriptures say what? Be not ignorant. Sirach 5 verse 15. Be not ignorant of anything in a great matter or a small matter. Or a, or a small. Yeah, so you should be wanting to what? Acquire as much knowledge as possible, man. You know what I mean? Acquire as much knowledge as possible, man. And and the learning the Hebrew. Hey, man. That, that's, that's a... <laughs> That's, a essen that's really an essential thing, man. You know what I mean? That you should try to do to the best of your ability, man. Of course, brothers have, certain brothers have more ability than others. But, hey, try to learn it to the best of your ability, man. You know what I mean? Study to show thyself approved, man. That's another scripture right there. Study to show thyself approved, man. Let me see if I can pull up that scripture real quick. <clears throat> Um, so this is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 15. Study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh. Come so study to show yourself approved unto Yahweh Hashem man. You know what I mean? That's why Yahweh Hashem Yahushai said, well, blessed is, the, blessed is the man that, that read it, man. You know what I mean? A workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Come so we study, man. You know what I mean? Of course, you is a balance. You don't study to the weariness of the flesh, man. But you still have to study, man. Put in the time, man. Put in the effort. Put in the love. Put in the labor. Same way, man. And you're learning about what? Your heritage, man. You're learning your language, man. You know what I mean? You're learning the fullness of what? Your history, man. You know what I mean? Learning that Hebrew. Learning the, the, the Lashon and Kodash, the holy tongue, man. You know what I mean? So let me read that precept once again. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Study to show thyself approved unto Yahweh, a workman that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Can and hey, the the, the Ibariath men, the, the Hebrew, 
bring out the full essence of the truth, man. The full meaning of words, man. The full meaning of what is being said. You understand? The fullness thereof, man. That, that's what the Hebrew represents, man. The Lashuan Kodash. That's what it represents. The fullness thereof. You understand? So with that, I want to say, Kal Halal Yomla, Abba Nawa Yehawa Bashim Yawa Shai Bashim Haraka Kodash. Double honors to the apostles who are Zekwanyam of Great Millstone and Ruel. Well. I shall warm to the sincere Akim brethren out there across the four winds, the four corners of the globe.